So I think that we do Coward enormously well here. We have for many, many years. And, um, and so I was looking at Coward plays, and of course then what really affected my decision is, and this is what affects a lot of my decisions, is when I look at the acting company. And of course the acting company is the, the center. And I started to look and I went, you know, we have the perfect cast for present laughter. We have Stephen Sutcliffe in the center. I mean, a, a masterful uh, comic actor. Well, a masterful actor, period, actually. And, um, uh, and, and then, of course, with the women in his life that surround him, I mean, to just be able to give the list of Mary Haney, Moy O'Connell, Claire Jewell, you know, I started going, oh, no, we, this, this would be delightful. And, um, and I was looking and thinking about who, who would direct it, and, and I, I thought about David Sherman, who is, uh, of course, known as an actor in our company, although has directed many, many times, um, and knowing, of course, that it's interesting, even no matter what way you want to approach Coward, you really have to understand his world. And David is a, is a veteran of Coward. Like, he really, you know, he's been in at least, I think, seven Coward plays, and, and knows, I know, I know certainly when I directed uh, Brief Encounters, the, the Coward one acts that I did, I was so pleased that he was in it, because he could always get, answer any question that I had about the world. Um, and so I thought it would be lovely to have him, and I know he and Stephen Sutcliffe could have a great relationship. And um, so I asked him, and he was thrilled to take on the, the directorial helm. And um, having just seen the first preview today, uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy with, with what we have up there, which of course now is, is playing through in the previews. And, and I mean, of course, it's coward, it's delightful, it's witty, it's funny. But the other thing, again, that I love about this piece is it's, um, it's actually kind of about a family. Um, I know it's about an actor, and I know it's about life in the theater, all of that, but really, I think many of us in the theater end up having a kind of inadvertent family, because you end up working with people, and you work with them over again, and uh, you know, you can bicker madly and still love each other at the end of the day, all of that. And that's what I think you see here, is this wonderful kind of inadvertent family that, 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 is, that surrounds and is part of the life of Gary Essendine, the, you know, the, the high-strung matinee idol that um, is kind of the center of their lives. So I think there's a lot of affection in the play and a lot of heart in the play. So it isn't just a series of laughs, but it's, it's, it's with people that you really begin to care about. So I thought, okay, so we've got Ragtime, a musical. We've got Present Laughter. Those are about two, uh, two different worlds, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well then, okay, what do we balance that with? And, and uh, I think one of the things that we do, again, very well, and that I personally love, are um, when we look back at um, certain American comedies of the past that are able to, to incorporate a sense of romantic comedy, but also have kind of real kind of political teeth in them. Because let's face it, that too is what we're very much about. Um, I think of Born Yesterday, for example, is a, is a very successful example of that, and certainly a very successful production for us. And um, I was looking at the front page um, by Ben Hecht and Charles MacArthur, um, uh, certainly not a romantic piece in that sense, but, but a, a wonderful comedy and, and one with real teeth in terms of political corruption and life in a, in a, in a newspaper, uh, w with newspaper hounds in, in a city court. And um, I was looking at it and then I thought, well, I'm not sure, and we've done it before, and are we really ready? And then I remember that I'd heard that um, the contemporary American writer, John Guare, had been commissioned by the National Theatre in London to write a, a new version of this, to, to look at it anew. And I thought, well, I wonder what that ended up being. So I kind of, you know, mooched about, as one does, and as I do, and found this version. And what, what John Guare had done was he actually took the play, the front page, and he took the <coughs> movie, His Girl Friday, which of course is a romantic comedy version of front page, with Rosalind Russell and Cary Grant, and, and he's actually sort of m m m put them together. He's kind of morphed them into <coughs> one being. So what you get is, in fact, a glorious romantic comedy, because you've got Walter Burns, the editor, and Hildy Johnson, um, uh, who in the front page is a man, and in this case it's a woman. So you have a great kind of battle that sex is there in this relationship. But it's still set in the Chicago, um, the, the newsroom of a county court. You're still looking at very funny but very pointed uh, political corruption, um, very, uh, the whole notion of newsmen and that, uh, newswomen and how they work. So again, uh, I think he's captured the best of these two worlds and then but created 
are really, again, a new way, a new approach to this material. And um, I asked Jimmy Mizon to direct it because um, uh, he can certainly, uh, he knows the world. And uh, again, it's one of those pieces where you'll see many, many people on stage all the time recreating, being in the world. And um, the, I was laughing, they were saying to me the other day that, of course, it's, you know, they're, they're in the middle of blocking it all at the moment. And there's something like about eight phones in it and everybody's always you know picking up a phone and going no no it's the wrong phone it's a so the, the whole thing has to go it's it's essentially a, a romantic comedy stroke farce and so the speed and the space so these actors at the moment are kind of, kind of going crazy trying to like work out okay what's my desk what am i saying where's my phone what am i going what room am i going to and oh my goodness somebody shot somebody ah you know it's all of that and of course by the time we see it it'll be you know the well-oiled you know, glorious machine that it is. And it's going to be fun. It, again, Nicole is playing Hildy uh, Johnson, and, and I'm up against Ben Campbell, who's playing uh, Walter Burns. And I, I think that that particular battle of the sexes, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing <laughs> how that works out. Um, so that should be fun. Um, so again, once once I kind of, we, we, we built that through, and um, again, uh, when I looked at those three, I thought, yeah, I think that's a good balance for the, the festival.